hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from candice owens and it's titled chrysanthemum needs exorcism you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what candice owens has for us in this video so many moons ago, I read this book by author Rodney Stark. It was entitled How the West Was Won. It's really a great book. Excellent. You should read it. Anyways, there's a chapter in it where he talks about the Aztec civilization and the amount of child and just altogether human sacrifice that took place. And in this one section, he intimates this Harvard researcher, his name was David Carrasco, who was moved to actually write a book about the human sacrifice after he reviewed a ritual receptacle where the remains of 42 children laid, quote, as a messy remnant of a 15th century precious offering to the rain gods. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that you're this Harvard researcher, you go down yeah. and you're looking at this and you're going, my goodness, they sacrificed children. Hmm. All because they thought, hmm, yeah, well, if we do this, then for sure the gods will recognize that we're really good people and it will rain. Yeah, that is really barbaric. Very, very. And I started to realize this. Somehow in our advanced society, we always look back on those things and we're shocked and we're surprised. And I think in our mindset is we would never how could the Aztecs have done this? Oh, my, you just should instinctively know that that is so wrong to sacrifice children. Us? No, we are, we are civilized. We are so civilized. Except when you think about it, we actually do all the exact same things. We just use better technology. And I guess part of the technology is the psychology that comes along with it. We believe that because we use technology, we're not barbaric. Mm. We hold on to this belief that we're somehow yeah, sure. more moral. And that idea was actually reinforced. If you guys listened to Friday's episode, I had on two guys who I really appreciate both of them so much. I had on Ami Kozak and Dave Smith, and they were debating Israel versus Palestine. Riveting discussion. But then there was this point where Ami was talking about just how barbaric October 7th was, really talking about the savages and, and what they did to the Israelis. And by the way, point for him. Absolutely. He's right. It was barbaric. But I was quite shocked when Dave Smith offered back, yeah, and what are they doing in response? The exact same thing. They're dropping bombs on innocent children and innocent women and innocent families, and you're killing them as a response. That is murder. And I think Ami was taken quite aback by that. Like, wh what do you mean? It's murder. This is totally different. We're dropping bombs on homes. Uh, again, we have some technology which makes what we're doing less barbaric than the people who parachuted in and did the same thing. Like, they killed innocent people. But of course, that topic has nothing to do with child sacrifice. We would go, okay, no, 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 we would never, of course, sacrifice a child for something like rain. That seems crazy. Mm. Well, if you think that's crazy, you should listen to Chrissy Teigen. She would certainly like a word after something that she posted on Instagram over the weekend. Now, before I show you what she posted on Instagram, it's quite shocking what she said. We should just appreciate Chrissy Teigen as a brand in general, because I've never seen someone who is trying to brand being pro-death. That's what she's done, really. If you, if you look at her career, if you look at really the collapse of her career, the hashtag that I started surviving Chrissy Teigen when I realized this remarkable thread, Chrissy Teigen likes the concept of children and teenagers dying. This is why she notoriously was telling young women, teenagers at the time, to kill themselves. Wow. I'm not kidding, to kill themselves. I'm going to remind you of this tweet that she wrote about Lindsay Lohan. She wrote, Lindsay adds a few more slits to her wrists when she sees Emma Stone. Oh, how sweet. Totally normal for a full adult married woman to be writing that about Lindsay Lohan. But that wasn't it. It got worse, of course, on the topic of Courtney Stodden, who was another celebrity who got married when she was 15. And then she sort of had a reality TV show. Well, she wrote this to Courtney Stodden because apparently she liked to watch the TV show. My Friday fantasy at Courtney Stodden, you a dirt nap. Mmm, baby. Yeah, dirt nap meaning buried beneath the ground, dead. 
Mmm, baby, she loves that. When Courtney Stodden was making the rounds and giving interviews and telling journalists that she wasn't just harassed publicly by Chrissy Teigen, she was also harassed privately by Chrissy Teigen. She said, quote, she wouldn't just publicly tweet about wanting me to take a dirt nap, but would privately DM me and tell me to kill myself. Mm -hmm. Things like, quote, I can't wait for you to die. Wow. I cannot tell you how extraordinary that is. Yeah, just thinking about a grown adult married woman feeling inspired to jump into the DMs of a teenager and encourage them to kill themselves. Of course, what if she had done it? What if Courtney Sodden had killed herself? What if Lindsay Lohan had slit her wrists? What if Bristow Palin, who was also bullied by her, by Chrissy Teigen and spoke out about it, and she wasn't the only one, it was also Farrah Abraham who spoke out. What if any of these women felt compelled to harm themselves or to kill themselves mm. because of the words of a A-list celebrity, which she was at the time married to John Legend? Yeah, that's pretty dark and pretty grim. But anyways, Chrissy Teigen kind of left the public conscience. Actually, people got it right and condemned her when they started recognizing this trend that I had exposed. Well, guys, hold on to your horses. Because wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Do you think that Chrissy Teigen is a pro death activist? And is she really, really encouraging these young girls to on alive themselves let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below if it's true that kristen tegan is actually going into their dms to send these kind of messages that means she's so so sick but let me know what your thoughts are on this video in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys it's because she ain't done yet if you're wondering what moves chrissy tegan to tears well it's the concept of dead babies Take a listen to what she posted onto her personal Instagram page. Hearing stories from your clinic, hearing that so many women come in there and it's not a place of sadness all the time. It's not a place where people are feeling at their darkest points or anything like the world wants you to think. Some people go in there with so much hope and so much, sorry, and so much excitement because they know that they have a future. And so to see that so many people out there and your share, the stories that you shared at your clinic of people having so much hope and positivity and a new outlook on life, it doesn't have to be this place of darkness and scary. And the level of comfort I felt just being at your clinic was so incredible. But I started crying um, once I saw this beautiful mural of butterflies um, above the operating suite. And I took one look at it and my eyes filled with tears and I looked over at Dr. Zoe and she looked me in the eye and she said you could have had butterflies. I'm just so disturbed. Please tell me. I know that there are plenty of people who follow me, young women who follow me, and you're not fully on the Candace train. You find this conversations that I start at least to be interesting and maybe you are still pro-choice. But please tell me that you recognize how dark and disturbing that is. A woman brought to tears about the concept of an abortion clinic, looking up in a mirror, moved to tears, going, oh, okay, at least when these women are being, quote unquote, operated on, what she means is that when these children, quite barbarically, are ripped out of their mother's wombs and literally torn limb from limb, they are poisoned, at least there's a butterfly mural that you can look up above. Because art makes people happy. She's moved to tears talking about words like hope. These women feel mm -hmm. hope. These women should feel inspired. These women should feel excited walking into this clinic. Yeah, these are not adjectives or nouns, mm. even when I was pro-choice, that I would have used to describe the process of abortion. You know, I've been actually very kind on the issue because I recognize why I was pro-choice. I was heavily propagandized in the classroom to believe that it was a clump of cells. I was heavily propagandized in the classroom to believe that the sacrifice, because that's what it is, would be worth it. Because think about how unfortunate that child's life would be if you had a child when you were 18 or 19. And... I watched my friends get abortions mm. with those exact same perspective. And I know that those women are not pro-death, even though they were misled. And I think that the, the pro-life lobby just has to do a better job at recognizing that these people are not evil. When I look at Chrissy Teigen, a woman who has chosen mm. to have IVF to have one of her children just because she wanted a surplus. It wasn't like she didn't already have her kids, but she wanted to have a fourth child. And she decided to go through the process of surrogacy and IVF. When I look at her being moved to tears 
over a mural, over the concept of a woman walking in to end a baby's life, I think that is an evil. I think this woman is so disturbed. I, I hope she finds God. I don't think she will because I recognize that she is a part of a satanic system. And I am not using that word lightly. I am being serious when I say that Hollywood is attempting to glamorize child sacrifice. What she is trying to do is glamorize what the Aztecs did. That's it. That's the truth. She's glamorizing death. And no, she's not saying that at the end of this, it's going to rain, right? If you kill your kids and you look up, maybe the, the clouds will cover the sky and suddenly rain will come down. Or the Aztecs also did it to build a temple, right? To sacrifice children so that they could build a temple as an offering to the God. No, she is saying that if you kill your kid, think about the hope of your career. She's so promising you. You're going to sacrifice and then you're going to have more money and you're going to have more financial success. Look at us. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me, a Hollywood star. Hmm. You don't have to believe in God because Hollywood is your God. Wow. We are the gods, the A-listers. Shockingly, John Legend jumped into the comment section when hmm. she posted this clip. Well, she just unironically posted this clip after knowing that her brand is child and teenage death. And he said, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. He's just so proud of her. What, wouldn't you just want this person to be the mother of your children? Someone moved to tears by the idea of dead children. I just, I, I'm, they are wonderful. They are excellent. Let me tell you guys something. You better wake up to what is happening in Hollywood because every way in which they are leading our children, our teenagers, and our society, it is toward demonism. There's just no question. I believe that she is possessed by a demon. Yeah. I think Chrissy Teigen needs That's an true. exorcist ASAP. And I am not saying that lightly. Like, for real, call a priest and get an exorcism for Chrissy Teigen. Because that right there is not normal. That's all I'm going to say on that topic. Wow, you guys. What are your thoughts on this video? And what do you think about Chrissy Teigen? Like Candice Owens said, do you think Chrissy Teigen needs a sexism? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really had fun reacting to Candice and I enjoyed every minute of this video. If you guys enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.